Oh my God, love life. Okay. I'm good at it right now. Thank God for self love. Because mm -hmm. that's all I need at the moment. <laughs> but my life is moving way, way fast. So I'm already starting hormones and everything next month. And I keep on like moving it back and forth because I'm scared to start hormones. In my opinion, I really don't need them, but I'm like, I do need them. So it's also something that I'm also saying for myself to see if it benefits me or not. Yeah. Um, so yeah. What's the process? You know, gender and expression and identity, that's what we talked a lot about was um, those being different, obviously, and then you owning how you wanted to navigate that. Mm -hmm. After we left, it's so interesting, because after we left, you came out to your family as fully trans, right? Yes. And what, what brought you to that? Since the first time I wanted to come out, I had to realize my realizations and be like, wait, like, I have to be honest with them. Like, I cannot just be like, as a non-binary as he and him, when my comfort is being a woman not so much being Joey, like, as a boy. So my comfort and my confidence comes from all of this. Like, regardless with or without makeup, at least have my nails or cute top on. That's how I feel most myself. Yeah. I didn't really want to, like, portray a boy and a girl when I know myself. Like, I wanted to be a girl. So, yes. That's so amazing. Honestly, I'm proud of you because it takes so long for people usually to come up with that understanding of themselves. Like, you're such a progressive person and a human being to just understand and be willing to say that out loud. It's very powerful. It's Thank extremely you. brave, Estella. I don't understand. I don't think you understand how extremely brave you are as a person, um, especially coming from a traditional Latino family. I know a lot of people that have that same experience, and it's just hard because it's religion-based. It's also family traditions-based, and it can really hold you back the strength that you're showing is going to help other people too. You know that, right? I appreciate that. And seeing the back of the video of like the moments of me with her talking, it was definitely yeah. scary because it's like none of us look back. It's just that the frustration of like the lack of language here and there, like the barrier mm -hmm. there, you know? But yeah. thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Well, how do you feel like they responded now? Do you feel like they're happier now that you're happy? You know what I mean? If they still have questions, they're still concerned about my You know what I mean? If they still have questions, they're still concerned about my... Just insane how self-aware you already are at the age you are. You yeah. know? Yeah. It's smart. It's definitely a scary thing because now, like, saying it out loud, like, there's just huge weights off my shoulder that you guys help me. Something that I really, really are thankful a lot is that you were like, we don't want to push you. We don't want to push you. Like, you guys were not pushing me. You guys were leading me in my right track. I feel like you knew where I was going to be in my life and you were just like, mm -hmm. okay, it's okay, you know? Don't worry, don't be scared, you know. There's always gonna be a negative, but there's always gonna be your chosen family and your like biologically family supporting you here. So like talking to you all, communicating with you all has been like a lovely, lovely, lovely. So it's like uh why don't what am I wearing for it literally? So it's just like relaxation at this point. That makes me so happy, Estella, because, you know, that's the biggest worry that I have when it comes to people and their gender expression or identity. And anytime that I'm helping anyone in their process and that, because I just know for me, I felt so forced into a decision, right? So, like, when I first transitioned, it was kind of like, um, and I come from a little bit of an older generation than you. So I guess I felt like it was like either you were going to be a gay man or you're going to be a woman. So you have to decide. 
you know, what are you? There's no in between. And I think that I, if I would have allowed myself more time, I probably could have found out in a different way, but that was my story. So I just, I really appreciate that you noticed that like, I wanted to make it your decision. You know, I don't ever want to force anyone to anything. I think gender expression and identity and uh, sexuality, it takes time to discover who you are, but it really is based on your comfort. I think that was the biggest lesson that even I learned working with you is it's like, how uncomfortable do we make ourselves for other people's comfort? Exactly, you know? yes. It's crazy what we do to ourselves. It really is because how literally you're saying that it's like, I was living as a boy because when I first came out to my parents as a gay boy, I was afraid like, okay, transitioning, like, hey, I'm also going to be trans. It's like that point is like, ooh, like they took it really bad. So like, you know, the two years were like as a gay boy, they lived happy, they were okay with me and things like that. But they're okay with me, but I was not okay with myself. So it's like, at the end of the day, like, this is like for me and for myself only, you know? Yeah. That's crazy. Honestly, I just love that. It really does surprise me every time that you talk because I'm just so in awe of you. I think you're so smart. You mm, speak yeah. so well. You're so pretty. You have such a future ahead of you. So talented. Like, um, is there anything that you want the kids to watch out for you doing in the future? What are your goals? Do you have dreams? What are your aspirations? My goal is definitely to go back to college to finish. Um, I want to go back into teaching degree because a lot of like times I like I 